Lady Margaret was standing in her own room door, combing her long yellow hair, when who should she spy but sweet William and his bride, as to the churchyard they drew near. Day passed away and night coming on, most of the men were asleep. Lady Margaret appeared all dressed in white, standing at his bed feet. She said, how do you like your bed and how do you like your sheet? And how do you like your fair young bride lying in your arms asleep? He said, very well, do I like my bed much better, do I like my sheet? But most of all, that fair young maid that's standing at my bed feet. Then once he kissed her lily white hand, and twice he kissed her cheek. Three times he kissed her cold, corpsey lips, and he fell into her arms asleep. Night passed away and day coming on, into the morning light. Sweet William said, I'm troubled in my head by the dreams that I dreamed last night. Such dreams, such dreams as these, I know they mean no good, for I dreamed that my bower was full of red swine and my bride's bed full of blood. He asked, is Lady Margaret in her room, or is she out in the hall? But Lady Margaret lay in a cold black coffin, with her face turned to the wall. Throw back, throw back those snow-white robes, be they ever so fine and let me kiss those cold corpsey lips for i know they will never kiss mine then once he kissed her lily white hand and twice he kissed her cheek three times he kissed her cold corpsey lips fell into her arms asleep, and he fell into her arms asleep.